Listen to this. Cuckoo. But I don't know where he's situated. I hear him a lot. Oh, that could have been him. Well, boating life. I have just hung the washing out and it said that the rain wasn't coming till 12. And guess what? A quarter to 11, it's raining. So all of this, on our lovely little washing line, is gonna have to come down in there and be hung inside. So we have gone with plan B. This is plan B. So the towels are next to the radiator, however, and it is quite cold and we have had the heating on this morning because it's been that cold. And I've also taken advantage of the dog gate, stroke Evie gate, for the sheet. Have to say that that's the only, maybe not the only, but one of the biggest nightmares of continuously cruising is doing your washing. We have the choice of a laundrette. We have the choice of family members but it means you've got to cart it from the boat down to the car, take it in the car, take it to the laundrette or the family member, get it washed and dried, bring it back again. And so if it's at all possible, I like to do it on the boat as we have both a washing machine and a tumble dryer. However, the problem with that is that we have to have a generator for the washing machine and the tumble dryer and the tumble dryer, for some reason, doesn't seem to be very hot um, from the generator, so it takes hours. And it means you've got this really loud noise on the back of your boat that other people can hear if you're in a built-up area, which we are here. So I try to only have the generator on for the wash, which is a quick 30 minutes, 30 degree wash, and that's about all it can take. Taking the rubbish to the bins. Well, here we are at Great Bedouin, and what a beautiful evening it is. It's around six thirty. It is beautifully sunny. And we're hoping for a really gorgeous bank holiday Jubilee weekend. We've got an exciting few days. I'm going to see my mum tomorrow. And then we'll be at the Crick Boat Show on Friday. And then Saturday, Jamie's got a few bits to do with his mum and I will be at the boat and on Sunday we're having a lovely lunch with two of our favourite friends, or three if you include Saskia as well. So all in all, action packed and then Jamie's heading off to fly out to Milan on Sunday evening. So good morning everybody. We are just on our way to my mum's. I'm going to give her a lovely load of washing to do, which she's kindly offered to do. So tonight I'm on Batwatch. You probably saw one just going in front of the screen a second ago, but quite whether or not they'll come back, I'm not sure. It's just a plethora of wildlife. They are, that's one just gone. There's another one. Amazing. Oh, I'm just, you're on my bat watch on my video. Oh. Where we're off.
off to today? Where are we off to, my darling? Quick boat show, my love. And it's, it's a much shorter journey, isn't it? It is, my love. drama. I took the milk off Jamie's. <laughs> We've stopped at McDonald's incidentally in case you hadn't gathered. There's the McDonald's. And I took the milks off really carefully for my husband and he's managed to get milk all over my car. So we it's going to smell like sick. We had a teenage incident. <laughs> I don't think you want to say that. And he's got it down here as well. Look managed to get it over there. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, here we are. We're clearing up. 41 miles left. We've just stopped off 30 for a, 30 miles. 41 minutes. 41 minutes, 30 miles. And we've just stopped off for a McDonald's. Horrible. And, which wasn't that brilliant. And Jamie managed to clean my car with milk. So now it's going to smell like cottage cheese in this car. The messiest person I have ever met. It was there. Queuing to get in. Looking very busy. Very excited. Still very busy. Still in the next field down. Just been round the shops and now we're having a look at the boats. So and there are boats down there. I haven't seen any white oh there's a whitey over there. Might go and have a look at that. Now this is interesting. The way forward some boats. This is in the window. Covered by solar panels on the shop. This little girl is doing great. Aren't you? She's a bit overwhelmed by all the people. And all the lovely dogs that we've seen, but she's doing really well. And this is one we wanted to see. And it's lovely and open at the back. What's the name of the um, maker of it, darling? Wilson and finesse boats. And finesse boats. That flooring is something we've still got to do. We need to design this one. We don't know what, what make of it is. It just looks nice. Nice colour as well. That's a typical lady remark. It's called the Calverly. And that concludes our little trip to the Crick Boat Show. We were there for about three hours. Met some lovely people, including our lovely friends on Narrowboat Life Unlocked our two boys had a great chat with them met some lovely people saw some beautiful boats got the bits that we needed apart from the life jackets which we will now need to get from the internet and we're now going to head home back to our beautiful tranquil boat somebody is a bit creamy crackered so we're back at the boat after around a two hour journey and my purchase, I'm very pleased with. It is called a Crawley Mate. We got it from the show and I've secured it with a tiller pin behind. And the only thing is our <laughs> tiller is bent. And I am going to have to step on a chair to put the washing out. See if I show it back here, it's like a drunk washing line. However, it works. Let's hope it stands up to the gales. I just had to take a picture, a video of this. Look at our washing line. Leaning Tower of <laughs> Leaning Pisa. Tower of Pisa. We are slightly on the tilt anyway, but I think it's, what is it, sweetheart? Is this something the, tiller, the tiller rudder is slightly... Uh, 
and bent. Like not, but not by us, but yeah. when she's dry docked, we'll have to have her straightened up. Her straight, straightened up. Her kinky straightened up. And we've got this chap over here who's been a bit nervous because we're walking past him and his well, his family over there. There's a swan. There's a swan's nest. Uh, you can, yeah, you can see. We're just out on a walk this afternoon, girly and me. Jamie's gone over to his mum's to give her a hand. I thought I'd just show you what we're what we're around. It's so beautiful and very quiet here this afternoon. I don't know whether everybody's gone up to uh, a jubilee party or something, but all the boats have gone. And this is our local walk. It's a bit blowy today, but it's about 17 degrees. On a Saturday, boats on the left, the canal on the left, in the distance. Not quite level with ours yet, but it's a beautiful dog walk. So, good morning everybody. I'm with my husband and my dog and uh, we're on our way we think to Wilton Windmill but we're going through an absolutely beautiful part of the forest it almost seems a part of uh, Savanac but it's a bit further on but we'll see how far we get well we've walked 2k already and it still says windmill over in that direction so I'm going to put it into the sat nav, my sat nav on my phone, and see how far we got to walk because actually I think it could be miles. So we just looked it up on maps and it's another 25 minutes. So I've just looked at my husband and said, shall we do it? And he said, yes, let's do it. So we are. Just come across some faces carved in the trees. Looks to be an awful lot of trees that have died up here, and they've um, they have um, planted some new ones in their place. I don't know if there's another one on the other one. Oh, Daddy's having a rest with Elsa, and that is an owl at the top. How marvellous. I can't zoom in anymore, but wonderful. <laughs> so we are sitting, or hubby is resting on a... John Edward Chetwind Tolbert, 1934 to Remember with love. Thank you, John. All right, should we carry on? We've just seen a deer. We're going right. Mm, still not there yet. And there it is in the distance. I'll zoom in and you can see it. Do you know what? We have an appointment at lunchtime, so we're not going to go right up to it. It's safe to say, quite lovely. And Elsa thinks she's died and gone to heaven for such a lovely walk. Don't you? Come on then. You know, I cannot believe this is summertime in our country. It is only 13 degrees down here. And anyway, Jamie and I returned from our walk successfully this morning. Did about uh, two hours walking, about 600 odd calories, which is all good because I have to this week get hen party ready, which means a lot of titivating, particularly when you get to my age. And uh, next weekend, I am away at a secret location that I can't say anything about, just in case the bride-to-be watches this video. However, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. And we're meeting with all the girls down there. And uh, I have a weekend away, which doesn't really happen very often. So, I hope you've enjoyed your bank holiday. It's 
special platinum um, jubilee weekends. We have certainly here. It's been lovely to have Jamie home for an extra day and uh, have a good week and I'll catch you soon. Little addendum to you, I always forget. Please, if you like the video, like it, subscribe to our channel and recommend it to your friends if you think it's worth it. And I think that's it. Not quite it. I forgot to say, please comment. And if you comment to us, I will always answer. Thanks very much for watching. Thank you.